Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to how to have real value in society. Charles Cake and Candice Owen. Guys, we'll get straight into this. Hi. Um, so, my question is, you guys um, were discussing blue-collar workers and how they have a lot of wisdom, which I certainly agree with. I'm sure they do have a lot of wisdom. However, um, your guys' perspective more so sounded like they essentially have more wisdom or more knowledge than someone in academia. And my question is, why do you guys believe that blue-collar workers and people um, in these laborious jobs have more knowledge than someone in academia? And is that rooted or what, how, how is that factually? rooted? So I guess I would say, rather than saying wisdom, I would say that they have more real world value and currency than somebody who's writing papers trying to transform the world from a classroom. And I, I genuinely believe that. I believe that there is more value in learning to work with your hands. There's more value in learning how to raise productive human beings. I, I hate the fact that women are being sold a bill of lies and being told that we should be competing with men and wanting to run executives of you know Fortune 500 companies. I, I believe that we absolutely flourish in our feminine roles and that the toughest job in the world is being a stay-at-home mom and raising good children. Yes. Um, so to me... When we shifted those values and we stopped realizing that these people actually have the most value to society, in, in society, we watched our social decline begin. And we have essentially been within a managed social decline for the last 60 years, in my opinion. I, I would add to that, um, anyone has to take a sociology class or anthropology class here? Yeah, um, have a kid. You'll learn a lot more about human beings than anything a textbook could teach 100%, you. 100% true. Experience always is going to override what it, you can it, learn in a book. By the way, I would say you conflated two words, knowledge and wisdom. They're not right. the same thing. There's a, there's a lot of knowledge here at Ohio State University. There's not a lick of wisdom in most of these classrooms. And what is the difference? Very simple. Knowledge is practical. How do you develop a medication? How do you navigate Build an Build a house. Build a house. That's fine. Knowledge is important. Wisdom tells you whether or not you should do it. Wisdom is eternal. Wisdom does not change. Wisdom is the knowledge of things that will be true 200 years from now, and they were true 500 years before, because you're dealing with the same raw material. Human beings do not change. We are broken from nature, and it takes effort to create good people. Hmm. Guys, this was a lot. But I guess something this is basically being on Candice Owen thing. Like, it's, it's amazing. I know this has nothing to do with this video, but that thing is stunning. But back to this, I honestly believe that wisdom is amazing. And wisdom will always outbeat knowledge because if you are knowledgeable and you have wisdom, you, there are a lot of things that you can't do. You'll be wronged by someone that has wisdom. And to me, I honestly feel that women, being a woman is actually the hardest job, to be honest. You have to go through pains every single month. And if I'm being honest, if I have the chance or uh, God give me a wishy one to switch the woman, I won't. I, I guess some things easy, but like there are some things they go through, those pain that I would never dream of going through it. Like childbirth is not an easy thing. I honestly think women should be respected more because they go through a lot. They go through a lot. Just existing, they go through a lot. Like I tell you think about this video, there's just a live show to channel as soon as time guys test.